Ah, Pemberdice. They don't call it that for nothing. We're here in Pemberton, BC today. Can sometimes be mistaken as a bit of a Western movie set here. It's a step back in time, even though we're only 30 minutes away from Whistler. It's kind of crazy. But today, it's the set of daily drivers where I get to hang out at random trailheads and talk to the local rippers because they've all got awesome bikes and I wanna know what makes them special. So we're gonna hang out here, see what rolls through. We got MC and June in the house. Yeah. She was just heading out for a bike ride, but she's gonna give us a nice little rundown on her Santa Cruz here before she goes. Charlotte, okay. tell us about your bike. A 2017 Bronson here, Santa Cruz. I actually got this bike like last year, so it was my first bike. Sick. And uh, we changed the tires like, yes, uh, last week. Uh, they were like done pretty much, and we changed the front tire for ass guy, but we had like a million too. Mm -hmm. Anything else you've kind of added to the bike? Changed the Easton bar and the stem too for a Thompson. And, nice, um, Thompson stem, super fancy. Yeah. Do you know how funny. wide you're running the bars? I don't even know. Perfect. Don't even know. It's just the perfect size. Yeah. That's all I need to know. Well, the bike looks really well maintained. Do you wash it every time you get home from a ride? My boyfriend does. That's so nice. Yeah. Big Thanks. ups to the boyfriends out there. Thank you. I Mr. hope he lubes your chain too. Mr. Wolf. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Actually <he> does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's also very well maintained, can't yeah. confirm. He cleans the bike more than the house, so that's good. Yeah, divide and conquer, I always say. <laughs> divide and conquer. But yeah. Well, that's a pretty sick first mountain bike, so congrats to you. <laughs> and she's gonna go up and ride Bob Gnarly now, which is a pretty gnarly track, so good on you, girl. Yeah, thanks. Next up, we've got Toby here. He's gonna show us this Trek bike. It's a slash. I've never seen one before, so I wanna know. Tell me about your bike here, bud. We got a Trek slash eight. Uh, bought it last year, second hand, but she's running pretty fresh. Have you done any changes to the bike or any of the parts since you've gotten it? The only upgrade that I've done is the brakes. So mm -hmm. change to the code RSCs. Nice, super powerful. Yeah, powerful. Skids all over the place, it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, no. Flat pedals, got those and then change the front wheel to a Magic Mary. Sick. Which could do with being replaced again because it's pretty beaten up. And you got the GX 12 speed back there. Ooh, yeah, the wolf yeah. tooth. Did you put this one on? I didn't. That was already no. on there. Yeah. Nice. I think a tasty upgrade, yeah. But the, yeah, the, the drivetrain's pretty beaten up. It could do with being replaced pretty soon, but mm -hmm. again, She's holding her own. <laughs> and anything else you're storing on your bike? I see you've got the tube. Rocking the tube. Tubular. Got some water. I think that's it, really. A little bit of extra frame, prote um, frame protection down mm -hmm. here. But no pump? What are you going to do if you actually need to put the tube in? Pump's in the hip pack. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. He's got the things. Yeah. You said you upgraded the brakes. Did you put on some bigger rotors? Looks like you got the dinner plates on. We got some dinner plates. We got um, lots of braking. 200 mil rotors. They got some serious stopping power. Nice. Yeah. That's what you need around here, man. It's steep and loose. It is. Pen be riding. Living large. Well, looks like you guys need a beer, so I'm not going to hold you up any longer. You've done your work. Go have a beer. Awesome. We Thanks will. Thanks for your time. Peace. Yay. Next up, we've got a super beautiful glittered bike. Obviously, that's what caught my attention. But this is Chris, and he rides every day. So. What did you ride today, Chris? Uh, and what's going on with this bike? We just rode Mackenzie with my buddy. And yeah, this is my custom built Site C2 Carbon. Just built her up this year and I am Whoa. loving it. So I see some Curl Mag stuff on here. You obviously pimped out the bike a little bit. Yep. What kind of bars you running? How wide? I am running the OSX Curl Mag bars 35s. Mm -hmm. I'm running them at 780. I'm trying to figure out if I want to cut them a little bit. Mm -hmm. I just haven't figured it out yet, but so far they've been great. Haven't nicked any trees yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a new saddle. I haven't actually seen the lift saddle yeah. in person yet. That's something cool. I'm loving cool. it. It's, it's great. I love like the design on it. It's super sick and it's pretty comfortable too. That's what you but, want. Yeah. Yeah. And how about those pedals? What pedals are you running? Do you always clip in? Yep. Well, I like to try doing flat sometimes, but I'm, when I'm riding, usually clips, I'm running the HTs. 
knots. Right now, they've been amazing. I have not clipped out yet because my old pedals, I clipped out all the time. By accident. Yes. Mid racing, unclipping in not the air cool. is very scary. <laughs> it's usually in the air when it happens yes. too. I have that, I have yeah. that issue. Yeah, it's Maybe it's because no I'm not scooping my pedals. I don't know. So you've got cush core in there. We haven't talked a ton of tire pressures with other people today, but I have a feeling you know what you run. So oh, yeah. do tell. Um, I like to run 23, 22 in the front and anywhere from 25 to 28 in the back. This dude must be a shredder. Yeah. Those are aggressive numbers. That's, I've just run that for the last few years and it has done well for me. So yeah. keeps I, your rims running straight. Yeah. That's what you want. Most of the time, yeah. Okay, well, I won't hold you up too much longer. I think we all need to get to the lake soon. So thanks, Chris. Thank you. We'll yeah. see you soon. Sweet. Joining us next for his brand new daily driver bike check, we've got Dave Robinson. Tell us about this color, Dave. It's freaking beautiful. Yeah, McLaren papaya orange. Uh, it's it. all about the papaya, really. Um, yeah, and then doing the black to make it pop. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked on it. Yeah. Did you build it all from scratch? Did you pick all these parts? Uh, got the build from Noli, the X01 build, and then took a few pieces out to put a few things that I wanted to put on it. So oh, just yeah. bigger dropper, different bars. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What else? How well, do you got... customize your ride? When you get like a nice brand new ride, how do you make it your own? Well, I put the top cap on it. That was a big deal for me, a Chromag top cap. Um, I noticed the bike is set up mullet. Did you do that? Yes. Or... Sick. Yeah, that was uh, something I've never done always wanted to do and this seemed to be the right bike to do it so do the carbon wheels and mullet it yeah so how did you pick your cockpit here well uh, i did the traditional 780 that everybody seems to be doing um and then i just i heard a lot of good things about the one-up bars just having a bit more flex mm -hmm. um and so i was really keen to try those all black and then I, i've got the odi grips moto inspired so i've got the half waffle nice. just uh so i can grab a bit of throttle as well Exactly. You yeah. need that sometimes on those yeah. uphills yeah, totally. in particular. <laughs> and uh, I see your your spacer stack here is very aggressive. Is that something you are known for? That's called the tower of indecision. I... Yeah. So I just don't know where it's going to be, where it's going to sit. So I gave myself some room. The last bike I had, I cut it too short. So didn't want to make that Ooh. mistake with this one. Yeah. Don't so. be that guy. No. no. What do they say in construction world? Me measure twice, cut once. Something like that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, sick, running those flat pedals. Do you always run flat pedals? It's a uh, year and a half I've been running uh, back on nice. flats. I thought it was temporary, but it's it's been the way for me right now. Sick. Yeah. Sick, anything else on your bike you wanna tell us about that you super love? You got some pretty nice rims there, what you rocking? Yeah, we are one unions. Um, I got the chance to test on my last Warden um, alloy versus these wheels on the same track, same conditions. And I was blown away at how well these track, not even just the weight, just like the trackability of them and everything. So. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked for, for this. I love it. Big yeah. shout out to all the Canadian brands on your bike there. That's totally. pretty radical. Yeah, yeah. Sweet as well. Get dressed, get kitted up, and then go grab a bunch of throttle. Will do. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. Joining us next, we have this cute little wee Scottish transport, <laughs> Lynn Armstrong. <laughs> She's going to run us through this bike. It looks just like she dressed today, so I'm impressed. Now, I know this bike has some stories with it, so maybe let's start with those, Lynn. Sure, where do you want to start? Well, this bike is, uh, it's called the McGrath Pumper. Um, it's named that because my ex-boyfriend, Phil McGrath, <laughs> shout out to Phil, he's still in Scotland. Uh, he built this for me from scratch. I love it, you, you loved him so much, you even put his name well, on there. Well, he put his names on it, to be fair, but right. I was happy to have them there because he did have some plans. He was gonna, he actually built a downhill prototype bike as well, which I raced at one point. But um, but yeah, he built me the dirt jumper. I was riding in the clan and I was riding this old Kona Dudu that was like full suspension. I love it. Uh, so it was kind of hard to hit the, the wooden kicker on that. So he built Air me Maiden, this. You can see on her jersey, she, she likes to sit it from time to time. <laughs> He built me this so that I could, yeah, so that I could ride in the kind of the stunt shows a little bit easier and hit and, and nail more tricks, obviously. So when I bought it before this, I was riding the Kona Doo Doo, which was tr actually Tracy Mosley's old four cross bike. That's awesome. And these components are the originals. <laughs> so, what, sorry, what year was this? Like 2005 or something. That's she so finished four, when four cross died. <laughs> and I had her bike. And so these are like old Z1 drop-offs. Oh my God. Factory made. <laughs> I can't, I can barely get this serviced anymore. Ben Arnott tried to 
like you know i brought it back to life um Thank but they're ben. the old air ones so i can't actually i used to take them from rizoki in north vancouver and they used to fix them for me but now i'm just like i don't know what to do with these so he's set them up as best he can um marzaki's like lynn please don't bring that fork back to us again. yeah <laughs> and these like the halo ribs they've been on this for this forever and um it has it's a chrome molly um frame so it wasn't, it was like about seven pounds in weight, the actual frame when it was built. But then once I added all these other like the Saint Cranks and the heavy duty wheels on it, it's actually pretty heavy. Um, however, Momentum, that's it great. has been upside down maybe 11 years ago. <laughs> when I, I like went through my chucking, I'm obsessed with backflips phase. I feel and, like uh, you were chucking backflips more recently than that. Well, yeah, I was, but not airport. like in a foam pit. Oh yeah, that counts. <laughs> I'm too old for that shit now. That definitely um, counts. <laughs> Oh yeah, my gosh. I'm glad I was able to come and share my love for the pumper. Yay! Um, it's been around the world and back again. Exactly. I, I'm a dog. I can't wait because I know people that watch this video will have seen this bike in the mm -hmm. flesh at some point or another. Yeah. And we're going to hear all about it in the comments below. <laughs> we're out here doing the daily driver bike checks, but we've actually found one of Pemberton's youngest pro riders here. Tegan and his buddy Chris just finished up a ride, so we're gonna do a little bike check on his Slash. Run us through what you got. Um, here's my uh, team-built uh, Trek Slash here. Uh, full RockShox SRAM, got the Zeb, Super Deluxe, um, Ergon grips and saddle. Just got the pretty jet fuel stuff, pretty sweet. Um, got the full electric axis uh, derailleur and dropper post. Loving it. Um, so obviously team build for you with that RockShox TLD team, but how have you customized the bike and made it work for your best riding? Um, did some adjusting with uh, grip diameter, mm -hmm. um, bar length, uh, do, doing some suspension stuff as well. Got it all figured out and set to me as well as tire pressure and saddle height. Coming from a BMX racing background actually, You've run clips for a long time. Yep, yeah, I've had clips on since I was about 10, 11 years old, mm -hmm. BMX. Still really good to have flats on every now and again, just a really valuable training for sure. But anytime I'm racing, definitely always got the clips on. Mm -hmm. And what clips are you running? Um, I run the Crank Brothers Mallet DH, nice. just work for me and love them. What's in your uh, stash box there? Um, normally I've, well, actually I've been playing around a little bit with what goes in there. Um, a lot of the time I'll have some Crank Brothers, uh, uh, sorry, Cliff Bar, uh, chocolate peanut butter Cliff Bars for nice. at the top of the trails as well as some shop blocks. Yes. What length stem are you running with those Descendant Bars? Um, with my Descendant Truvative uh, Chainsaw Bars, I got the chainsaw. Descendant 40 mil stem. Yeah, that is rad. They actually say chainsaw. Man. Yeah. Big up. Pretty, pretty hard to find those these days, but Shram's always helping me out there. I'm pretty happy to represent. Represent. For sure. Thanks, bud. We'll get you back. I'm sure you have some school to do before you uh, hit Europe next week. So. Yeah. Got to get those grades. As well as some flat corners. Yeah, and that too. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the daily drivers here in Pemberton today. If you had a favorite bike, maybe a favorite component, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe because we're doing bike checks like this all the time. So you don't want to miss the next one.